Now, we begin in Vladivostok in Russia's far east. President Pakane has arrived in the host city of the Second Eastern Economic Forum, where she's set to deliver a keynote speech tomorrow, sharing her vision for peace and prosperity. Now, Vladivostok is the first of the three cities she'll tour during her eight day trip, which will also take her to the G20 summit in China and the ASEAN summits in Laos. First, let's go live to our Song Ji Sun. She's traveling with the Presidential Press Corps and she joins us from the Far Eastern Federal University, the venue of the EEF. Uh, Ji Sun, what do we expect from President Park's visit to Russia? Good evening, Ganyang. President Park arrived in Vladivostok, the first stop of her three nation multilateral diplomacy trip. Her goals here will mainly be gathering more international support to counter North Korea's nuclear threats and fostering regional and bilateral growth. One of President Park's main goals is to convince Beijing and Moscow that the U.S. missile defense system FAD is a necessary countermeasure to North Korean threats. China and Russia view the system as a possible challenge to their security interests. Before heading to Vladivostok for the Eastern Economic Forum, President Buck gave an interview to Russian state-run news agency Rossiya Segonia, saying there would be no need for THAAD if Pyongyang put an end to its nuclear threats. 이미 수차례 밝혔듯이 사드는 북한 이외의 어떤 제3국을 겨냥하거나 제3국의 안보 이익을 침해하지 않고 또할 이유도 없습니다. Stressing how Pyongyang's provocations threaten not only the Korean Peninsula but all of East Asia, Park also pointed to Russia's influence as a permanent member of the U.S. Security Council. With North Korea continuing its provocations and violating U.N. Security Council resolutions, the occasion will be a chance for Seoul and Moscow to enhance cooperation on North Korea and its nuclear issues. Park also said resolution of Pyongyang's nuclear issues would maximize the economic potential of Russia's Far East. Accompanied by a business delegation, President Park will also hold a business dialogue in Vladivostok to help Korean companies find new opportunities in the port city. The president's visit to Russia will contribute to developing the country's Far East while at the same time expanding opportunities for Korean companies to enter the region. President Park on Saturday will deliver the keynote speech as the guest of honor for the Eastern Economic Forum, where she'll lay out her vision and Seoul's role in development and growth in the Far East. Back to you in the studio. And Adirang TV will bring you a live coverage of the president's speech tomorrow, September 3rd, starting a little before 11 a.m. Korea time. Our Song Ji-san, live from Vladivostok. Thank you.